Richard Southern joins us once again with a look at the day's interesting stories. Richard, we begin with talk about possible life beyond us. We talk lots about life on Mars, but it seems like there is another planet with potential. This is a seriously big story. It was actually like front page of the New York Times today. Oh, wow. Life potentially on Venus, Janella. This huh. is like the brightest star in the night sky. It's our closest neighbor. Here's what happened. Uh, scientists using two big telescopes in Hawaii and Chile spotted in those thick Venetian clouds the chemical signature of phosphine. Now, this is a noxious gas that here on Earth is found in our intestines and in the feces of some animals. Mm. Militaries have also uh, created this to use in chemical w warfare. The bottom line, Janella, is that we only know this to be produced by life and only life. So finding it in Venus means only two possibilities. Either it's created use a, using a process that we're unaware of, or there's life on Venus. It's only one of those two possibilities here. Uh, now, you know, they think back many, many years ago, Venus was very much like Earth with water and everything. Now it's a very inhospitable place. You can see there, you know, a big pressure, high temperatures. But what do you think about this, Janelle? It's very compelling, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's so much focus on Mars, but Venus, as you said, one of our, clo one of our closest neighbors and uh, could be right there all along. You know what they say, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. We've been looking <laughs> in the wrong place. <laughs> Maybe we have been. I mean, you know, they think that you, you could humans could survive in the in the cloud layers of Venus. So I think you and I should go and uh, take a trip and maybe report live from right. the Venetian uh, uh, clouds. All right. Well, I'll ask the boss for the budget. It shouldn't cost too much. <laughs> Might be a little bit out of the budget. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Back to this planet. One company yeah. is ramping up its plan so that we don't have to run off to Venus or Mars. They're trying to save planet Earth. So Google said all the energy it uses by 2030, it's going to be from renewable sources like solar and from wind. And Google uses a lot of energy. They have those big data centers. You know, when you Google something, it takes some energy to do that. Right. And the company already says 61% of its energy comes from renewable sources. The trick is going to be finding a way to do it around the clock. But of course, it's making this pledge as these big wildfires sweep across Western United States. We're seeing the, you know, the smoke here. Uh, we've heard similar climate pledges from Microsoft. Uber last week said all its cars are going to be electric by 2030. But you got to wonder, Janela, boy, is it too little too late, right? Yeah. All right, Richard, thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.